Okay, awesome. So that was amazing. Um, if you learned a thing, please tell us what you learned in the comments. Oh, I can see some people already even typed that. I can see a whole lot. Um, don't be afraid to show your working. Just start and build the credibility. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, create what people need, not what you want only. That that makes a lot of sense. Thank you guys so much for participating and engaging too as well. Right now, we're going to be having the very next session. Um, and this session is also one that I'm um, totally excited about because it talks about um, the emerging markets that we are in today. All right. And um, our guest is in the house as well, by the way, just so you know. So I hope everyone is ready. Okay. So I see um, Ibrionke's tag has been put there in the comments. So please be sure to follow him um, as well on all social media platforms. All right. So um, uh, we are having our next guest right now, just like I said. Um, just like I said, also, when I first came on, if you know anyone who is supposed to be here and is not here, please be sure to invite them. Share the link out so we can get more people in the stream. All right. So right now, we're going to be having a session on prospering in an emerging economy. Okay. And we're going to be having no other but the Bitcoin chief himself, Mr. Gaios Chief Wese, who is going to be taking this session um, um, in, in a few short minutes. So we're going to roll his bio so everyone can get to meet him. And then we're going to bring him up on stage stay tuned guys Okay, 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 okay. I can see people are already um, hyping Bitcoin chief right in the comments. The biggest chief, yes, but I tried to have him. I told you guys that we are bringing um, the, just the very best, you know, of, of the speakers from all over the world. All right, so today he is going to be taking us on prospering in an emerging economy. All right, I'm, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Um, so let's have him up on screen. Yes, Okay. <laughs> what up, what yes, up, sir, what up, you. what up, super amazing friends, guys. Sorry. How's it going, everyone? Okay, how I are love you? the energy already. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> good evening. Guys, good evening. Uh, good this evening. Thank you for joining. Super excited Milton to is be in here. The background <laughs> saying hello, and we are happy to have you here. Thank you so much, Milton. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. How's everyone doing? I hope you guys you, are cashed up, pumped up. In fact, I was listening to the last speaker. It was, was an awesome session. In fact, I followed from Eva's own time when Eva was presenting. And I'm sure everyone is as charged up as I have been. Yes, yes, totally, totally. Guys, we're having, we're having um, the Bitcoin chief right here. He is a blockchain entrepreneur and, of course, the founder of Abit Network, a blockchain technology company that is creating real life <laughs> utilities for cryptocurrencies. And I mean, he does so many things, right? His products are being used by over 1.5 million users globally. And you know, he also owns a music label with two successful signed artists today. So there's just a lot about the man and I'm happy and excited that he's here today. Okay, sir, are you ready to go? Definitely I am, I am. Thank you so much, everyone. Um... I've been following this program and I'm super awesome, excited. Awesome, awesome. Be... Okay, so I'm going to take it. A... Okay, go ahead. Okay. Yes, no, you could go ahead. I was saying I was I was just going to take a, a step back in the studio. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to Seller, the organizers of this program. It's it's so funny, like uh it's so funny how things align in my favor. I think it was three weeks ago, one of my brand managers, uh, Mr. Wisdom Bradford, told me about Seller and said I should um, put my, my books for sale on Seller. And just a few months later, and I'm being invited as a guest speaker to come talk about what I have been doing for the past seven years. I'm super excited to be here. Today, I will be talking about prospering in an emerging economy using crypto as a tool. 
So for those of you who are just seeing me for the first time, uh, a brief introduction about myself. My name is Gaius Chibweze, aka Bitcoin Chief. I'm a blockchain entrepreneur and a cryptocurrency trader slash investor. I got involved in Bitcoin in 2011. I used to be part of the people called network marketers. So in 2011, a white guy on Facebook that I used to follow to learn how to market the product of the company I was involved with. So that this guy stopped talking about that company and he started talking about Bitcoin. And one day I asked him, I said, bro, what's going on? You stopped talking about this company. You're not talking about Bitcoin. And he said, yeah, that he found something better. So he has moved on to Bitcoin. And that was how I said, I'm interested. I'm always open to opportunities. So he sent me a video that I watched. And in that video, what really caught my attention was they said so many things about Bitcoin, but the person doing that video said there will only be just 21 million Bitcoin. So that caught my attention. Now, the reason why that caught my attention was because I've always had this love for exclusivity. I always like getting things that are rare, things that not everybody has. So I just thought about it. I said, if there are like 7 billion people in the world and this Bitcoin is just going to be only 21 million, let me get some. So that was how I started a journey that I never knew was going to change my life the way it has. In fact, I've been able to travel the world. I've traveled over 26 countries of the world. I've also changed the life of my family, friends, associates, and people that have come in contact with me. I've helped, I've, I've brought the, the cryptocurrency message to over 10 million persons globally. And I've held events in 11 countries out of the 26 I've traveled. So I'm super excited to be here. And today I will be sharing with you, uh, first of all, for the benefit of those who are just getting to hear about cryptocurrencies before most 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 people know bitcoin but they don't know cryptocurrencies so when they see people talk about cryptocurrencies they are like what's this one talking about again then when they hear bitcoin then they calm down so uh bitcoin is the first cryptocurrency that was created on the blockchain so i will just be uh giving you uh a little rundown about uh bitcoin how it was created so in the, in, in the course of this discussion, I'm going to be talking about cryptocurrencies, but using Bitcoin as an example. So anything I talk about Bitcoin just now, I'm talking about other cryptocurrencies. And in some cases, I'm also going to be mentioning other cryptocurrencies that has been created. Because outside Bitcoin, we have over 15,000 other cryptocurrencies. Statcoin is one of them. Ethereum is one of them. Solana and a whole lot of others. So Bitcoin was created in 2011 by a person or a group of people, or we don't know if it's one person, if it's two, if it's three, but the name of the creator of Bitcoin is Satoshi Nakamoto. So in 2008, the reason why he created Bitcoin was that he wanted to create, or they wanted to create a financial system that is decentralized, a financial system that is borderless, a financial system that is not controlled by the government so that was one of the major reasons why they created bitcoin so bitcoin was created in 2008 but officially went live sometime ending of 28 ending of 2008 and 2009 so the whole idea was to create a currency that is borderless a currency that people can use for transaction in any part of the world if you do if you have a small business online you will see that before platforms like Seller and, and Paystack and the rest of them came to be, we have always had that challenge of taking payments from other continents or from other parts of the world. In fact, there was a time I was in Ghana having a discussion with my friend, Ms. Wanika, who is like the biggest hair boss in Africa. And we were discussing how she has been having challenges receiving payments from people in Rwanda and other parts of Africa who love her hair on Instagram, but they want to buy But the means of exchange has always been a problem. So that was the number one reason why Bitcoin was created. But today I'm going to be focusing my discussion on how people can prosper with Bitcoin in an emerging economy. Most of you watching this, I'm sure you are from Nigeria or other parts of emerging economies like Ghana and the rest of other parts of Africa. Or So I'm going to be um, outlining how Everything I'm going to be saying here, mostly I speak out of experience, things that have worked for me and uh, how it can also work for you if you adopt same strategy and uh, 
and apply in your own business if you're doing the same business. So, so cryptocurrency as a tool for prosperity in an emerging economy. Uh, when I when I got to know about Bitcoin, one of the, the things that really caught my attention a bit about Bitcoin was that exclusivity that not everybody in the world is going to be able to hold one Bitcoin. So that scarcity is what really made it unique for me. I really loved that because the challenge that we are having today, if you're from a growing economy, is that you see that there is constant inflation. The, the, uh, 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 the, the financial system that exists right now, money keeps being devalued every second. And the, 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 the masses are the ones paying for this. So the government of every country, even the United States, where I, where I am right now, they keep printing more money every time. They keep printing more money. The government of Nigeria, they keep printing more money. But production is not also being grown to meet up with the level at which they are printing more money. So for imagine economies, like some of the economies in Africa, Bitcoin can serve as that uh, tool that can uh, help young people prosper. So there are different ways people can prosper with Bitcoin. One of those ways first is by gaining this knowledge, gaining this education. I love what Sela is doing because it's all about the education. By the time I'm going to end, by, by, by the time I'm going to end this conversation or discussion today, one or two persons must have learned one thing or the other. So how can you use cryptocurrency as a tool for prosperity? Number one is by getting this education, just like you're doing now. You are very fortunate to be part of this conversation that is happening here today. Research has shown that less than 50% of the world have heard about Bitcoin. In fact, I recently relocated from Dubai and the UK to uh, Miami, where I'm currently living. And it was kind of a shock to me, the number of persons that see me because I promote the brand I represent anywhere I go to. So sometimes I wear a shirt that says, I believe in Bitcoin. Sometimes I wear a shirt that says, only Bitcoin can save the nation. So I see the number of persons here in America, both white, blacks, and Hispanic, that come to me and say, can you tell me more about this Bitcoin? So the reason why I'm saying that you are fortunate to be here today is because less than 50% of the world has heard, and less than 10% of the world has bought in. So you are very opportune. In fact, you're still very early if you're hearing about it right now and you get to understand it and you take action. Just like the guy showed me Bitcoin in 2011, I adopted it as a business. And in 20, I think it was in 2015, I changed my name to Bitcoin Chief on my, on my Instagram and other so social media platforms. The reason was because I wanted to build a brand around this Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. And one of my goals when starting out was that anytime Bitcoin is going, in fact, it was a challenge to myself I was in a WhatsApp group with my friend, Bitcoin Goddess and Bitcoin Jenny, and I told them that was in 2015. And I said, in, I said, in the next five years, I want whenever people are talking about Bitcoin in Africa, my picture should be the first thing that comes to their mind. So I was able to adopt Bitcoin as a means, as a tool for prosperity for myself, even while I was still in Nigeria. I used to work before as a... I used to work before as an SA on new media to a, a senator in the National Assembly, Abuja. But what Bitcoin has done for me, even working in that kind of office that so many of you here would think it's a very big office, why will you leave? Has not really been able to, it, 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 in fact, that working in that office didn't do what Bitcoin has been able to do for me. So Bitcoin gave me that financial freedom. Now, there are different ways that you can actually use this Bitcoin too to gain your own financial freedom and become prosperous also in an emerging economy. One of those ways is by getting education about how this thing works, getting to understand it. Then one of those other ways is also by learning how to invest in it. So there are different ways to make money, but one of those ways first is by investing. So investors are those people who 
they learn about cryptocurrencies, they are excited about it, just like we are going to be at the end of this conversation. They are excited about it and they say, how can I buy it? And they buy it and they just keep it there. So these people actually make the most money. Investors, people who just buy it and they keep it. They actually make the most money. So these investors buy it just the way I bought in 2011 and they keep it and they go about other things. Now, if you, if you follow the price of Bitcoin, you will see that from 2009, when Bitcoin went mainstream to, 2000 and, uh, to, to, to 2022, today the price has gone from one cent to $42,000 or $40,000 that it is now. In fact, as at last year, November, 19th of November, it went as high as $69,000. So this is also where I'm going to be talking about the risk involved later on. So one of those ways that you can use Bitcoin as a tool for financial freedom is by investing. If you had invested in the choicest location in Lagos or in New York or in, or, or in Kigali, Rwanda, or any other place that you think investment has grown over the years, if you had invested $1,000 in the choicest place in Banana Island in Lagos in 2009, and you invested that same $1,000 in Bitcoin, looking at this time frame of 10 years now, Bitcoin has outperformed any kind of investment. That is why, according to CNN, Bitcoin was adjudged as the best investment for the last decade. 2019 to 20, 2009 to 2020, Bitcoin was judged as the best investment the most the, the, the investment that has uh, uh, brought more returns than any other kind of investment so these investors are people that just bought it like i did so i bought my first bitcoin in 2011 but i wasn't concerned about it until 2013 to 2014 when most of these ponzi scheme one of it i was then in nigeria then one of it called mmm in fact it was another one called get help worldwide but i know mmm introduced those ones too so it was through that get help worldwide and a friend was telling me and say bro i want to introduce you to this money doubling something and the person said because the banks were beginning to close the account of participants on this mmm policy scheme he said you can use bitcoin and i said use bitcoin i said i got that thing because bitcoin was not even the first uh, uh, uh online investment i did i invested in e-gold and a whole lot of other things that later didn't turn out as uh as profitable as bitcoin has actually done for me but so it was when this person said that i could use bitcoin and i said i bought this thing some years ago so that was how i now saw that bitcoin was now gaining more acceptance then i started organizing events even in the national assembly abuja most many of you here probably must have seen my flyer somewhere in abuja i was organizing events in most of those places, Guarimpa, Kubwa, inside the National Assembly, Wuse too, and other places there in Abuja. So I was just an ordinary investor. I just bought my Bitcoin and I kept it. The second way you can also make money from Bitcoin also, or cryptocurrencies, which can also serve as a tool for your own prosperity in an emerging economy, wherever you are right now, is by trading. In fact, in 2009, according to Binance Trade Volume Ranking, I was ranked among the top 3% traders on Binance globally. We are talking about a platform that had over 50 million users as of then. It's, it's online, you can go Google it. So I was ranked among the top 3% traders on Binance. You understand? So in a platform where people in a platform where people buy and sell, you can also get this education to buy cryptocurrencies and sell in the short term. So, but one, one, one of those factors about trading is that you, it puts you, you must always be at alert to, to see price movement, if it's going up, if it's going down. So you can make money from those short term rise and short term fall. When the price goes down, you buy. When the price goes up small, you sell. In fact, I have some of my boys doing margin trading. They just exit at two margin or at two margin of profit. So you can become a trader. A trader is someone that buys when the price is down and sells in short time when the price tries to go up or the price goes up. So another way also that you can also become uh, that you can also become 
prosperous using cryptocurrency is by building is by building systems. In 2000 and, in 2019, I was somewhere in Rwanda and I sat down to myself and I said, I have succeeded in this investing and trading. I said, how can I start building system? I said, how can I start building system that other people can use to learn or other people can use to trade these cryptocurrencies or invest and hold these cryptocurrencies? So myself and my friends came together and we launched our company in 2018 or 2019 called Abit Mobile Application Limited, legally registered in Nigeria, Rwanda, Ghana, uh, United States of America, here, UK and Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. So one of those ways that you can also become prosperous in this cryptocurrency business as someone living in an emerging economy is to build the system so i have built a platform today with my friends that has grown to over 1.5 million users using this platform buying and selling cryptocurrencies holding cryptocurrencies trading cryptocurrencies so it's always good that you move from being a trader you move from being you move from being an investor and you start building system if that is something you will really be excited to do first of all there must be excitement there is no need doing something you don't in fact when you eventually get rich you're going to discover that you won't want to do some something that doesn't excite you in fact i've gotten to where right now i'm looking for excitement i've right now i'm looking for excitement something that i am going to be happy waking up to do so you can decide to also build this system and also leverage your needs you can leverage your needs to become uh, uh, wealthy or prosperous if you're living in an emerging economy. And one of the good things about cryptocurrencies, I was talking to someone and I said, you live in Ghana, you live in Nigeria. One of the good things about cryptocurrency is that even if the economies of this country is going through inflation, hyperinflation, people are suffering and whatever, once you key into cryptocurrency, you have keyed into a global economy. You're no longer confined to the borders of that particular country where you're living. Most people don't know it, but when I left Nigeria, I spent one year in Ghana. I spent one year in Ghana, and that one year I spent in Ghana working on my visa to relocate to this country I am now. That one year I spent in Ghana, I wasn't going, I was just in my house. I was trading. In fact, that time I was trading, it was even during those times that I was trading higher volumes. So it was, I was living in that country, but I never for one day looked for a job. I lived in that country for one year and two months before relocating to the UK, but I never looked for a job. I was living in, I was living in that place with my family. I never looked for a job. No member of my family worked. In fact, I even flew my mother-in-law into the country and we were living just fine. So even if other people are crying that the economy of this country is going down, people are suffering, I was exempted for it, all thanks to cryptocurrency. Why? Because I got this education and I keyed into a global economy that is not confined to the borders of where I am. So it, it is something that I think that you can also do too for yourself. Then you can also become, right now there is, there is so much need for crypto media. In fact, one of my partners, Ajulu, just started building a community around Web3. We had a discussion yesterday and he was telling me how he wants to build a, a community system to educate more people about Web3. Now, Web3 is where the internet, Web3 and Metaverse is where the current internet is moving into. We are moving into a new world of ownership where people are talking about NFTs, metaverse and what have you so you can also decide also to build platforms that helps other people key into these opportunities so that is one of those ways also that you can uh, prosper using cryptocurrency as a tool in an emerging economy then also you can also decide to become uh you can also you can also decide to become a developer a blockchain developer yourself my one of my partners, Blinks Breezy, my right hand buddy, my 
my childhood friend of, I think is going to, to 13 or 14 years now. He's currently building and developing mobile applications for, for, for our company. He handles most of our tech. He's the CTO of my company. In fact, some years ago, like three, four years ago, he didn't know anything about blockchain web three and the rest of it. But today he has been able to gain this knowledge. And today he's currently in Dubai now building systems that people right here in the United States where I currently live are using. So you can also decide to become a blockchain developer. Then also, if I sit down here and talk about all the benefits that comes with cryptocurrencies, and I don't tell you the risk involved, then it means I will actually be lying. In as much as people have profited from cryptocurrencies, personally, I have no, and I'm not sure anybody, I'm not sure cryptocurrency has changed the life of any Nigerian the way it has changed mine. Looking at where I was born and looking at where I am coming from, if it was not for cryptocurrency, probably I will still be on my journey to get to where I am right now. I've been able to travel to the six countries of the world. I've been able to enjoy some of the best experience that was reserved for politicians in the country where I was born as a result of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies changing my life, as a result of me tapping into this opportunity that is borderless. But in as much as I want to come sit down here and say, oh, people have People's life has been changed in cryptocurrency. People have made so much money. People have done this or done that. One thing that I also want you to, to also understand is that there are certain risks involved in it. If I come sit down here and I'm telling you all about the gains and telling you all about the benefits, but I hide the risk from you, then it means I'm a criminal and I'm, and I'm a liar. So there are certain risks that are involved in cryptocurrencies. And these risks are what I want to educate you on so that you can actually prepare yourself ahead. Because if someone tells you that there is a tree that has fallen across the road ahead, when you're driving now, you become conscious of that blockage ahead. But if nobody tells you as you're driving, you'll be going full gear until you hit there. That is why you have people like myself sharing this crypto education every day especially using Instagram and other social media platforms. So there are certain risks involved in cryptocurrency. In fact, in 2017, I was somewhere in Ghana and Bitcoin pumps. Okay, I, I think, yeah, yeah, somewhere. I was somewhere in Ghana. That was towards the end of 2017. I was in Ghana and Bitcoin was pumping. Bitcoin pumped that very year from 1,000, no, from $800 to $20,000 in the black market, but official price on exchanges was 19,800. It was even that year that I saw $2 million cash. In fact, I had I had asked my partner, my girl then, Bitcoin, uh, 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 Bitcoin goddess, I said, cash out this money less. In fact, the, 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 night, I, the night I cash out $2 million, I couldn't sleep. So that very year, Bitcoin went from Bitcoin went from eight hundred and something dollars to twenty thousand dollars. So many persons, because of greed, started buying Bitcoin. They didn't know that we had already maxed the top. Some of them, even I, I actually regret it right now. But I have apologized to some of these persons. I was even the one encouraging them: buy, buy, buy. We are going to thirty thousand. Don't worry. Somebody will call me. Oh boy, I see how your life don't change. You don't make so much money from this thing. I say, ah, come, come join me. Let's, let's make this money together. It was actually with, with good intention. And a few days later, the price started plummeting and the price dropped drastically from $20,000 on the 8th of January of 2018. On, on the 8th of January of 2018, you can Google it. Price of Bitcoin dropped to another all-time low of $3,400. So these people, I was encouraging, oh boy, come, 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 key into this thing. I want to sell my house. No problem. Sell it. We are going to 30000 you, 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 you will double your money. These people all became stranded. Me, I had already cashed out some money because, don't forget, I bought my first Bitcoin at $35. So watching it get to $20,000 was like, in fact... The first day I saw 100 million Naira cash in my local currency in Nigeria, I couldn't sleep. 
I will wake up and I will go touch them. In fact, I started, I started buying property because, you know, if you're coming from poverty, when you see small wealth, you will want to secure it by all means. In fact, I was calling my friends in Abuja, all the states I have lived. Oh boy, anybody wants to sell land now, buy and buy and buy. In fact, some of, some, some of my friends made so much money from me trying to buy these properties. I wanted to just secure the money. So me, I had cashed out some money, reasonable amount of money. I was living my life in Ghana, living in one of the best apartments at Spintex Road. In fact, I even bought the house behind me. So I was doing all these things and all these people I had said, come on board, they became stranded, 18th of January. Price of Bitcoin dropped drastically. These people were stranded, started calling me. Guy, what's happening? What's happening? How my money is going down? What's this? What's this? What's... But I didn't know better then. I had watched Bitcoin go up and down, but that one of 2017 today still remains the highest pump we have seen. The highest unplanned pump, because if Bitcoin pumps from $40,000 today to $100,000, we are expecting it. Everybody is expecting it right now. As I'm sitting down here now, if they wake me up from sleep and say Bitcoin is $100,000, I won't even celebrate. I'll just be happy. Yeah, I will just say I've waited so much. I've waited so long for this. But in 2017, we didn't really see the downtrend of price coming that hard from eight, from 800 and something dollars, 1,000 to $20,000. So most of these persons became stranded they started calling me guy what's happening you asked us to buy this thing you do this some of them were not insulting me some of them go kill your papa go kill your mama some of them were very angry you know anything that involves money definitely people are very emotional about it i felt so bad i tried to use the small money i had then to sort some of them out to say calm down the price will still go up the price will still go up but it took bitcoin to is Bitcoin stayed down from that 8th of January 2018 to November of 2020 before it got again to $20,000. So the, reasons I'm, the reason I'm telling you about this risk is so that in as much as it has changed my life, in as much as it has made me money, in as much as it has changed thousands of people's lives, I've seen firsthand people close to me, their life changed. I've seen firsthand students that met me didn't know anything about Bitcoin. Like one of my one of my boys, Wisdomatic, just bought a car. Some of the people are introduced to cryptocurrency. One of my boys, Uncle Fizzy, has built a house of 184 million naira. So, in as much as I've seen it change most people's life, it has also destroyed a couple of persons. Why? Because of lack of education of how this thing works entry how to understand the entry and the exit point the entry and the exit positions so so i want you to understand the risk that i involve number one risk you can write it down is the risk of price volatility remember when i started talking i said the price is not controlled by anyone the price is controlled by demand and supply so when people, when there is a euphoria, when people are over excited, like we saw last year, November, people were too excited. Everybody was buying. Even people that, even people that that were part of that downtrend of 2018 started calling me back. Oh boy, what is going on? This thing is going back up. What is going on? How can we buy? How can we buy? If you are a smart person, when you start seeing people becoming too excited, start preparing your exit. November of 20, November of 2021, I was here in Miami. I had just left Dubai to Miami. And I had some reasonable amount of money I had already cashed out, put in my family account. I said, if anything happened, I want to be on the safe side. I just left only my long-term holds. So what did I do? I went on this crypto trading exchange and I set something called stop loss. Think of this stop loss like you have a shop, you sell bags of rice. And you tell yourself, girl, I'm going home to spend some good time with my wife. So in case this price of bag of rice starts going down from the current price is $10. But if, it's, if you've seen that people are beginning to sell at, if you see that people are beginning to sell at $9, please sell off my own at $8. 
So November of so November of 2021, I had already set my stop loss at $59,000. Price of Bitcoin then was $69,000. So I had already prepared myself to lose $10,000 in case it goes south. And I have prepared myself to make more money in case it goes to in case it goes to 70,000 which was the next uh, point of sale that we were actually expecting but what happened the price started dropping it dropped from 69 to 68 65 60 60 50 59 plus and immediately got to immediately got to 59 all my bags liquidated all my crypto, all my Bitcoin liquidated into USDT. So outside Bitcoin, we have another coin, coin type of coins called stable coins. USDT is one of it. So USDT is what you use to preserve your capital when the market is going down. So I liquidated all my Bitcoin assets into USDT to stay aside and watch. And that, that period, if you follow me on Instagram here, I was enjoying myself here in Miami, going to boat cruise, going to have fun and man, what's there to do with money? So while other people were there getting excited, we are going to 70, it's going to go back up. Me, I had already protected myself. I don't want what happened in 20, I don't want what happened to me in 2018 to happen to me again. I had already called my, my friends and said, it is time to exit the market now. I was posting it on my Instagram and on Twitter. I said, if you're able to exit at 60, exit, we might see 30. Bitcoin dropped since that time and it went as low as 29. When it got to 30, I was able to use the USDT I had converted at 59,000 to buy times two of what I had. And I didn't even know it was even going to go to 29. I was eyeing 30, so I bought back at 30. Now that it is back to 40 now, I already have profit so i can do anything i want to do so this risk of price volatility it is only this crypto education that can help you because there's nothing as painful as having money that is not really your own most people when bitcoin is pumping you see them post their wallet they have one million dollars they have this but as far as your money is in bitcoin it is not really your own until you sell unless you're holding for a long term and if I was smart enough, I would have sold all my Bitcoin in 2018 at $20,000 and buy back times 10 or times 5 of what I had when it dropped to 3000 So you must get this education and understand the entry and the exit positions. It's very, very important that you understand this because that is the only way you're going to win. Then another risk also involved in cryptocurrency is the risk of scams just like every other emerging technology there are risks associated with cryptocurrency and which is the risk of scam i've had people come to my instagram and tell me uh, bitcoin chief please help me how do i recover my money somebody told me if i give him one dollar bitcoin is going to double it and give me two bitcoin and this and that so you must be wary of these scams because as far as it's an emerging technology people still use even though they, the internet has been around since 1999 or thereabout People still scam people on the internet today. So you must be wary of these scams that will tell you that they want to double your money. Many of you listening to me here now, you, you probably must have lost money to one Ponzi scheme or the other. So there are people that will come and tell you that they are going to double your money in this cryptocurrency. Put one Bitcoin and get two Bitcoin. Be very, very careful about these people because they are going to take your Bitcoin and you go back to square zero. So... Those are some of the risks that are associated with uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Now, I have gotten to a stage where I have finally retired from trading. In fact, I no longer I no longer trade. What I do right now is something I will encourage those of you that are listening to me to do. I invest in new crypto projects. Remember, when I was starting this, I said, when I was starting this, I said that um, I said that outside Bitcoin we have over fifteen thousand other cryptocurrencies. Truth is that 
most of these other cryptocurrencies like Binance, BNB, Solana, Axis Infinity, and the rest of them, Tatcoin and the rest of them have done well. They have made some people rich. Especially if you understand the entry and exit. When my company launched Tatcoin in 2019, when we went straight to exchange, we sold Tatcoin for three cents. But when we went to exchange, Tatcoin sold as high as 58 cents. So all the people who came in at three cents, one cent, they were there. Are, there are some people called seed investors. Seed investors are those first people that buy that cryptocurrency, even when there is no white paper. So I have finally retired now to found. I found a company. At, at, I retired from trading. Right now, I'm building. I'm building. I'm building the. I'm building these platforms for other people to use. I founded a company called Ghost Partners Fund. So. Basically, what I am doing right now is looking for those crypto projects because you need to understand why are there different cryptocurrencies outside Bitcoin? Why didn't we just stick to Bitcoin? Uh, Bitcoin is the of them all. Why is everybody not sticking to Bitcoin? The truth is, first of all, there is a need for other cryptocurrencies. Don't forget that the reason why these platforms issue cryptocurrencies is, number one, to be the transactional currency of that platform. I was already rich when I issued that coin. In fact, I had over a hundred and something Bitcoin. So now, why did we launch that coin? We launched that coin as a utility, as the utility token for Abit Network, which means most of this platform wants to create an in-app currency that people will use for transaction. So every crypto project is like an economy of its own. So if let's say, uh, let me not use Biafra, but let's say. I don't know which other country to use. So let's say Nigeria divides into two right now. And the second country has, they will create their own currency. So that was how the second cryptocurrency was created from the Bitcoin idea. And that second cryptocurrency is called Ethereum. Now, why did they create Ethereum? There were some challenges that Bitcoin had. And Vitalik, who is the founder of Ethereum, looked at it and said, let's create our own, our own network called ERC20, Ethereum Network. And when he created this ERC20, he also created Ethereum as the cryptocurrency to use on that platform. So the reason I'm explaining to you is because I want you to understand why there are other cryptocurrencies outside Bitcoin. So Ethereum is one of those cryptocurrencies. Statcoin is one. Solana is, Axis is. So one of the ways I am currently relaxing and doing this business is investing in some of these new crypto projects before they launch on exchange june of 20 june of 2021 i was in dubai and my friend mo called me and said oh boy alpha i said fine bro he said there is this new project called project seat i'm part of it we are planning to launch it's going to be a game something blah 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 i said okay send me the white paper and the pitch deck and the tokenomics I looked at it and I saw that this was a great project. And I said, okay. He asked me, how much allocation do you want? Allocation, when a crypto project is starting out, they give allocations to people to buy. These people are like early believers in that cryptocurrency, just the way we have early believers in Bitcoin. So these people buy it when the price is almost near zero, believing that the company will deliver on its white paper. So one of the things you should look out for when investing in a cryptocurrency is look at their white paper. It's very, I'm currently launch, I'm currently planning to launch an NFT. I'm launching a rare NFT of 10,000, which is going to be delivered in batches. If I launch that NFT today, it's going to be, it's going to be sold out within minutes. The reason is because I have this proof of work. People who understand cryptocurrency, when they hear that Bitcoin chief is behind this thing, they will say, ah, Bitcoin chief. He has done it before. He has he he's, he's he's known in this thing. He has people that are following him. He has so many believers, and they are going to key into it. So one of the things you should look out for when investing in a new cryptocurrency that is not in the market yet is look at the team behind it. Read their white paper. Look at the team. What have they done before? What have they done before? I am myself and my friends in the UK. We are currently building a music streaming platform on the blockchain called Groove Up. 
I have not even posted about this group up on my main page. Go check it. I've not posted about it. But guess what? We have people that have backed this project already with eight hundred thousand dollars. These are just people that just that that are just sent text. We are building something next. Look into it. See the CEO. I sent them the white paper. They saw the CEO. They saw the people involved in it. I said, this person in that white paper, we broke down what these other people have done and what happened. You, we have not launched it. They already backed it with $800,000. When this project goes live now, these people will be the ones. So right now, that is what I basically do. I no longer trade. I just invest in it. So I invested in this project called Project Seed. That was June of 2021 while I was in Dubai. And when I got to Miami here, they went live on the 9th. In fact, it was on the 19th of November that they went live. That was the day Bitcoin went, went, went to $69,000. So there was excitement. That token that I bought at the seed sale price of 10 cents started selling on the exchange for $15. Even though I was busy that day because I was just somewhere enjoying myself, I didn't really remember that they had, they had planned to launch that day. So by the time I came back to see, the price has, had already dropped to $1.08. So I sold just 5% of my 200, they, they gave me just 5% out of my $200,000 investment. That, that, that 5% already at one, at $1 plus was already times five or more of the money I invested initially. So right now, as of today, now they started giving us back the vesting. The vesting is the remaining 95%. They are giving us back now, even though the whole crypto market is down now. But by the time I hold this 95% now, guess what? Everything is profit in my hand. So one of the things I will encourage you to do is to get to understand this industry, especially those of you that don't have big money. Get to understand this industry well, then key into new cryptocurrencies before they launch on exchanges. That is where the real money is. I bought Bitcoin at $35. I still have some of them that I bought since that time. Someone that bought Bitcoin last year, twenty thousand dollars. The person will buy so much to compare to to to. If I had bought ten at thirty-five dollars for one, if the person the person will will buy what I have, what that ten is worth now, the person will spend so much more to have the same number in terms of dollar value with me. So people who key into cryptocurrencies early. If you're someone in an imagined economy, if you're someone in, a, in, in an economy that is still growing, understand cryptocurrency in such a way that you key into it early before it goes mainstream. I give you an example. If you follow me on Instagram, you see that I started talking about Axis Infinity January of 2021. Axis Infinity was selling for 92 cents or thereabouts. Now, as this infinity as a last year went as high as $168. Everyone who listening to me right now is living a, is, is, is living a seven is living a seven star lifestyle. We've also seen other other crypto coins or tokens also blow up, like Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, and the rest of them. Now, my my the last thing I want to say also is that you must also understand. Why cryptocurrencies are created? Remember, I said they are, they are creating it. There must be a reason why it is created. But there are certain people that are just creating just useless coins and they put hype behind it. So that is where you need to also have knowledge of what you're getting into by reading the white paper, checking the people involved. What have they done? There is even no reason for stupidity in this time of our generation because almost every information you need about anyone is on the internet. If you go right now, type my name, Gaius Chibweze, you will see 80% of things about me that are really truly related to me. So you can Google out anybody, you can Google out any project. So right now, if you are ready right now to key into this crypto revolution that is going in, as someone, remember I said something, I said, Cryptocurrency is that tool that you can use to key into a, in, into a global economy, an economy that is not limiting you by where you are. We've seen young Nigerians, young Africans, young Europeans, we've seen young people 
watch their life change overnight. I am one of them. I am a testimony. So I've written a couple of books. I wrote my first book called How Bitcoin Changed My Life. That was in 2017. I wrote that book. That book is currently right now on, on the seller link on my bio. I told my story and most of these things I have said here. So you can read this kind of books. Join communities. Cryptocurrency is a community business. That's why you see some of us spend so much on goodwill. Why? Because people buy from those they know, love, and trust. If I'm launching a project today, it's going to, it's, it's, it's going to be sold out in the, in, the, in, in the next 24 hours. Why? Because people have followed my brand and they have trusted my brand. I have that proof of work. So join a cryptocurrency community, get to learn how this thing works, and see how you can also key into this opportunity. That is my own way that I think that people can uh, prosper in an emerging economy. I don't know if my time is up. Yeah, I had 45 minutes. It's OK there. OK, good. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much again. I mean, this was very, very practical. And and we just love it. I mean, you've 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 pointed us in the right direction. You've given us all of the tips that we need. You've mentioned all the books, all the um, resources that we can use to learn more. You know, and it's just been amazing. Um, so we have a couple of questions here that we will take. Um, let's see. Okay, so the first question here says which cryptocurrency is the most profitable at the moment so what would you say i mean you have experience um with so many projects right now is there anyone yeah. that you're willing to mention as um something that people should consider okay so right now there is really no cryptocurrency that, that, that you can say is the most profitable right now because you have not bought it already so if you had bought it yesterday, as an, and as this minute now you're asking me, I would say this is the most profitable. So the question would have been, okay, for you, what which cryptocurrency is the most profitable in your hand? So, but Bitcoin is the surest of all cryptocurrencies. Even though I have launched a token, but I'm always very sincere with people. I say start by buying Bitcoin. Even though you will not make money the way I have made again from Bitcoin. In fact, with my holdings right now, close to $10 million plus, you need to come in with so much amount of money to and wait for Bitcoin to like turn like $200,000 for you for your for your for your holdings to become as valuable as mine. So your the reason why I tell, tell people to buy Bitcoin is that. You use Bitcoin as an entrance cryptocurrency to understand how this cryptocurrency works. Especially, you use it to learn how to be patient, to learn the ups and downs, the price volatility. So, Bitcoin is the first cryptocurrency I encourage every newbie to buy, even though you are not buying it now, because it would take for Bitcoin for me to put hundred dollar in Bitcoin and get two hundred dollars back in the next one year. Bitcoin has to do times. Bitcoin has to do times two of the price right now, which is nearly impossible right now. You understand? You understand? Based on the way the market is. But buying Bitcoin first gives you, helps you to learn, to learn uh, patience, helps you to understand how this cryptocurrency works. Bitcoin swing is not as much as the swing of other cryptocurrencies. So because Bitcoin is the, Bitcoin has the first mover advantage. Bitcoin is the most known, the most popular cryptocurrency. Bitcoin has, Bitcoin has the first mover advantage, and Bitcoin is the most trusted of all cryptocurrencies. So start with Bitcoin if you are just starting. All right, awesome. So start with Bitcoin. You have it there. Okay. So the next question, real quick, um, do you think the market speculation, pumping and dumping? is defeating the idea or vision of cryptocurrency. Isn't it supposed to be just a store of value that is disassociated from central systems? Oh, thank you so much, uh, Jibri, for that question. I think that's a well thought out and um, smart question. So one of the beauty of cryptocurrency is that decentralization. Decentralization is what makes it, I am currently holding Bitcoin, I bought at $30,000. The government cannot call me over the phone now and say, Gaius, you have held this thing for too much. More, more people need Bitcoin. You have to sell it right now. 
So it gives me the opportunity to follow my mind and make my decision. So now the pump and dump will always be there. Why? Because the factor of fear, we have something called FOMO, fear of missing out. When Bitcoin was pumping at $69,000, I will not, in short, my, my five-year-old son with the things I've taught him, he will not buy it. But you see some adults, that is when they want to buy. But now that it has dropped to thirty or 40000 now, they will never buy it. So this fear of missing out problem will always be there. Then there's another problem again of food, F-U-D, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. So because the price is dropping now, that person that bought at 69000 is now scared. Oh, God, my house rent. Oh, God, my wife is pregnant. What if this thing doesn't go up until my wife is going to deliver? Oh, God, what is happening? What are we going to eat tomorrow if this thing goes down? More? So the person sells off at loss. So you can't cancel out these emotions. In fact, for me, as an experienced trader, and also investor this emotion is why i am in the space to ride the wave when people are scared like when it dropped to twenty nine thousand, i was buying but i made a mistake to even buy at 30. if i had known it's going to 29 i'll wait so when people are becoming greedy bitcoin is still going to go to seventy thousand. one day you are going to see me post it bitcoin is now seventy thousand. guess what that is we 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 in the crypto space especially myself as a leader in the space i get more dms of people asking me if they should buy now when the price is an at it when the price is at an all-time high so this market speculation is the beauty of it it will always be there why because it is decentralized it is not controlled then if you want something that you just want to be a store of value for you without even real estate has price fluctuation. We heard about the real estate whatever of America. In short, I was talking to someone, I said real estate investment in Nigeria is becoming a Ponzi scheme. I bought a house somewhere in Lakey for 89 million. I have put that house for sale for the last six months. They are pricing it low or the person that will price it that this thing will not bring the money. So everything has to do with speculation. Somebody's coming and looking at the, looking at, somebody's coming looking at the receipt, I bought that house and the person will tell me, let me give you 60. Let me give you 60 million. So everything, everything has this, people have this liberty of pricing anything. And, and I have the, the liberty now. There's a way this land can be. Like let's say somebody called me and I say, ah, there is going to be war soon in Lagos and they are going to burn everybody's house. What, what will happen? I will sell off the house at 60. So will, will, will the government come and stop me? So, so, so speculations, Pumping and dumping is in almost everything, but cryptocurrency own is just new. So, but there is a there is a reasonable speculation. There is the one that is bad, where people create fake projects and pump the price high, no real utility, and you as a blind person you go buy into it. It has happened a couple of times where people create these cryptocurrencies with no use case, then people buy it and they dump on them. So this one is the one that you should stay away from. But if it's the one for Bitcoin, the up and down is the beauty of it. But if you are still afraid of the up and down, then trade stable coins, which is USDT I talk about. One dollar is one dollar forever. Awesome. I mean, that was that was so, so deep. I, I love the fact that you, um, you, you looked at it from different angles. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have another question here that says, um, how can someone with little or no capital get involved with, in cryptocurrency? Okay, first of all, I will talk about those with no capital. You are at a very bad disadvantaged place, but all hope is not lost. Now, there are some community activities. In a few days, I'm going to be launching something called Tats N. It's the first of its kind crypto affiliate where people earn, earn crypto for helping other people understand about crypto. I'm building something that will have a multiplier effect in the number of people already involved in cryptocurrency. So they are they, they also have airdrops where you can carry out an activity, follow page. If you go right now to grooveup.com, now we are giving hundred dollars to everybody that takes a survey. If you're an artist, you are a fan, you have you have love for music, you can take a survey and we are giving out hundred dollars each to one thousand people. So these are opportunities for, for people who don't have money. But if you have small money, I will advise you first to buy Bitcoin and hold. 
and then go continue working. In fact, I post something that that made a lot of persons in the cryptocurrency space angry. I say people who don't have much money shouldn't trade cryptocurrency, even though because the chance is always one over hundred for them to succeed. Imagine you put in hundred dollars into a into a cryptocurrency that price goes down by fifty percent. You're almost stranded. Imagine if that is your survival money. It means you won't eat, you won't pay your house rent. So, so you can either carry out carry out an activity and end this cryptocurrency for free, or you buy Bitcoin or buy if you want to take a risk, a bigger risk, which comes with more reward and more risk. Buy any of buy any of these other cryptocurrencies and go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Very, very practical. So um, um, he talked about um, um, airdrops and, you know, which is a way for people to be able to earn these cryptocurrencies too as well. And of course, Bitcoin being um, one of the most recommended is also a, a good place to start. And there are also stable coins. So stable coins are always pegged or tethered to the dollar, for instance, USDT being one of them. Awesome. Okay. So I think there's a last question here that says, um, how much is the minimum amount I can invest as a beginner? Is there a minimum amount someone can that is recommended, for instance, globally to start with? Okay, so there is no minimum or maximum. Invest what you can afford to lose and still sleep well. Mm. I've had people come into this space sinking everything um, because they were desperate. I was talking with my mentor, Mr. Nice Ayuk, and I was telling him, I said, if I had the information I have now, I would have been more successful in this cryptocurrency space. Now, one of the reasons why is because when you invest or when you are trading with your small money, that you're, you will always be scared. You will even develop anxiety. Oh, the price is going down. There was a time in 20, that was in 2017 or 2018, I used to trade on a platform called Block, uh, called uh, Bitrex. I even developed some kind of, it, it was like a mental kind of something. I was having mood swing in my house. When the price goes down, I will be feeling sad. When the price goes up, I'm excited again. So it got to a point where, man, I said, I have to relax. I have to really look at this thing. And the more money you, you start making, you're becoming more relaxed. Because right now, even if Bitcoin goes to one dollar, I already have something that I can survive on until it returns. You understand? So yeah. there is no maximum and there is no minimum. Just only invest what if you lost it, you will not be it will not affect your physical life. Like you want to go kill yourself. People have committed uh, uh, like as a result of loss in this cryptocurrency. Some people have have. Mm, like they developed some mental case because of this cryptocurrency. So invest only what you can afford to lose and still smile. Awesome. I think I think what, what you said right there is really important. The fact that you mentioned, please guys, if you're considering it, be sure that this is something that you are comfortable with losing if that if it comes to be. But of course, you know, if if that's not the case, then of course you are still very happy. But be sure that it is something that you are investing what you are um, willing to use. Okay, so um, let's see. Any other question before we call this session a wrap? Okay, so I don't think there's any more questions in the comment section. So we'll say a very big thank you to Bitcoin Chief for coming on. Yeah, Everyone, please say a thank you in the comments. Put up an emoji. This no has best. been an amazing session. Okay, so we have a tradition. Um, just before you go, um, everyone is going to take a screenshot of this session right now and post on the social media, and they're going to tag you, Bitcoin Chief, tag Seller. Guys, make sure I look cute so in that picture. Get ready in three seconds. Yes, exactly. We're going to be posing for the picture. So in three seconds, guys, we're taking the screenshot. One, two, three, let's go. Okay, so that is your screenshot. Thank That's you your so picture, much, guys. You. Tag Bitcoin Chief, tag Seller. Thank you so much for coming on, sir. We really appreciate you. God bless you. Have a good Thank evening, everyone. Time. And like I will always say,
Okay, so that was amazing. I see everyone in the comment section going like this was completely worth it. Thank you so much to everyone who has participated so far. We have the final session coming up in a few minutes. We are having Niger Branchy come on to share with us on a very unique topic, how to shamelessly sell yourself and build a powerful personal brand. I mean, she's an epitome of a powerful, powerful personal brand. And of course, she's, she's just uh, in a very perfect position to be able to teach that. Thank you so much for everyone who has participated so far. We really do appreciate you. Um, thank you so much for, I see the comments, it's going crazy already. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, if you know anyone, I mean, I mean, you guys can testify, right? You guys can have, can bring the testimonials already because this has been just completely worth it for the past two days. And we have a final session that we have lined up for you. And I think everything, you know, today has just been happening for reason and and leading up to this moment, right? So before we call the session, um, the past two days before we call it a wrap, we have Niger Branchy coming on really, really soon. I, I can see people are already excited in the comments and I, I'm excited too. I mean, who doesn't, who doesn't, right? Want to know about how they can shamelessly sell themselves and build a powerful personal brand. I think it's really important that there's a shameless before the sell because I, you know, you would agree that some people, um, struggle you know to sell you know while they are being creative while they are making stuff that people need and people love you know it's, it's still sometimes hard you know to put the word out there and, and get people buying this product and buying this everything but nelly um niger branch chick is not one person who you would say is afraid of selling her market trust me if you follow her you would know that she shamelessly promotes her products and services and for what it's worth she gets the sales that matches up to that level of promotion and of course she's here to um break it all down what are the systems what 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 is the science behind it how you know is she able to pull off the numbers that she does pull off um you know um i think it was trisha bees who mentioned that one of her recent products that is niger brand chicks recent products um sold to thousands of people right and 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 she had done uh, more than fifty thousand dollars from a single product now if you were if you were handed the goods right the strategies the skills to be able to sell up to fifty thousand dollars worth of a product or service that you offer digitally would that be worth it to you if the answer is yes then you have to stick around for the next session which of course like i said is the final session guys so you don't want to miss it you want to get a friend in here you want to get somebody in here with you too as well